Hello and welcome to part two on how to paint trees using acrylic paint. In part one, I took you on a guided tour of my local forest where we searched for inspiration for our next tree painting. I shared with you that my favorite tree is the birch tree. And I thought, why not paint a birch tree together? So that is exactly what we'll do in this video. I will show you step by step from sketch to finished painting, how to paint a modern painting of birch trees. Here is a look at one of my sketchbooks with some notes and a few quick sketches. Uh, also some notes on color and different color combinations. And on these pages, a few sketches of birch trees that I will use as a reference when doing the painting. I'll be doing two paintings side by side on paper and I start by lightly drawing the outlines of the trees. I will be using only four colors plus black and white and I'll list the colors and the description down below. And I'll be using a few different brushes, uh, some flat ones and a smaller round brush. I'll be doing two paintings side by side today. A lot of times I like to work in series, sometimes up to eight paintings at a time. And the reason for this is so that I can really dig deep and get to know my, uh, my subject really well. And in this case, uh, the birch trees. I start the painting by laying in uh, some of the darkest darks, the blacks and the browns. I feel it's quite useful to have established my dark colors right from the beginning. You will notice I'm using the side of the brush and um, the edge of the brush as well. I like to use a lot of thinner layers of paint. I feel that it gives a, um, a more life, more depth to the colors at the end. That's also why you'll see me using uh, many layers of paint, many thin layers of paint to build up the painting. If you tried acrylic paints before, you'll know that they dry very fast. So a lot of times I keep a spray bottle next to me with water to just gently moist my paint once in a while. The day I went into the forest, there were this beautiful sunlight among the, the, the birch trees. And uh, this is something I would like to capture in my painting as well. So I'm starting to lay down very thin layers of lemon yellow mixed with a bit of white. And you can see I'm wiping a bit of the paint off as well with some kitchen towel. Again, I really like the many thin layers of acrylic paint and building up the layers to give this life and texture to the finished painting. Now I'm mixing an orange color and I'm just giving it a tiny bit of burnt umber to, to take the intensity down so it's not as bright as just pure orange. I'm hoping to capture the very airy, sunny feel um, that I saw 
uh, in the, the sunshine. And so again, try and keep your layers very thin and um, somewhat uh, watery. Well, it's kind of a balance of not using too much water and too little paint. Um, but uh, try a few times and uh, see if you can get the balance right. Now I'm adding a bit of a more intense orange. You want to um, take it uh, a bit slow here and don't overdo it. Just kind of add the, the orange bit by bit. If I feel I added a bit too much, you'll also see me going in with the kitchen towel and just wiping some of it off. Now that I added all the color, I feel that I just need to freshen up my darks as well. So I'm just adding another layer of some brown and black mixtures. I want to create a bit more life on the dark parts of the tree trunks. So I'm mixing up a lighter color of brown. I will use this color to add a bit more dimension and life to the dark parts of the painting. I'm also using this color to add a few more tree trunks, uh, a few more trees uh, in the distance. Um, and keep in mind, you don't need very much paint on the brush at this step. And look there, I, I got a bit too much paint on, so I'm just wiping it off with a bit of water and my kitchen towel. I want to create a bit more depth in the paintings. Um, and I do this by adding, again, some different brown mixes of color um, towards the bottom of the painting. This helps create some depth. Also, I'm adding very thin layers of brown mixture on one side of the tree trunk. This helps to create the illusion that the tree trunk is rounded. So far, we've been using only warm colors, and I'd like to introduce a cool color. Here is the turquoise. I took the intensity down also by adding some white to the turquoise, as well as a bit of burnt umber. I like to use the opposite end of the brush to scratch into the paint while it is still wet. I try and keep my paint layers thin. I thin by using water, but you can also use a gloss medium or glazing medium. I want to keep my layers thin so that I can still see the colors underneath. This helps to add life and depth to the colors and the, the painting itself. I feel that painting number two could use a bit more contrast in the upper right corner. So I'm adding some darker turquoise up here. I'm using the same turquoise color, adding tiny dabs of it to create interest uh, in other parts of the painting. In this step, I'm using the small rounded brush to add definition to the tree trunks as well as uh, details.
Now I want to add a few branches and you want to do this in one go. You can practice on a spare piece of paper before actually doing it on your painting. When painting branches, think of the concept of less is more. I find that it's easy to uh, add way too many branches because it's fun and uh, you realize you should have stopped sooner. So don't rush this step. Do a few branches and step away and look at your painting. And then you can go back and add a few more. I looked at my painting for a while and decided that the, the turquoise color was a bit too intense. So I'm just toning it down with some layers of gray and uh, brown. Now I want to add a few white details to the tree trunk. So I'm mixing up a white with a little bit of turquoise. You don't want much paint on your brush in fact, you want very little. I'm also separating the bristles on my brush. This will help to create the effect I'm looking for when applying the paint. For the second painting, I'm using the same approach. I'm using the same color to add on the tree trunks, on the parts where we added the burnt umber. I decided that my tree paintings were finished, so I'm signing them and I want to do some more. So keep watching if you would like to see some more examples of tree paintings that I did. Some of them are predominantly warm colors, some have cooler colors, some of them are more modern, and some of them are more realistic. You can use the style that suits you best. I hope you found this video useful. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching.